I had a right awkward moment earlier Why? on. Why? It was awkward Wednesdays, isn't it? What, you I ran into Tyrone, you know, he used to work here. Oh, Tyrone used to be a researcher here. Yeah, but he now he works on other TV shows because there's other TV shows filmed in this building. Yeah. He was sort of bringing through some guests and he held the door open for me and I thought he was going to give me a hug. Oh, I went nice. to give him a hug and then I fell over my own shoe. <laughs> I know, it happens to the best of us. Also, that is fair. Yeah. I don't like when orky things happen. I had one recently, I went to the local shopping centre. Oh, another one. Um, you know, the engineers, great show, lots of fans. One of the fans' dads came up and went, oh, my daughter really likes the engineers. Well, that's nice. I a little chat, but when he approached me, he approached like this. So I thought he was asking for a high five. So I reached out and smashed him a high five. Turns out he was just waving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What are we like? You can't take this coming up next for you for all your veterinary needs but if it's mm. non-animal based human. Um, medical sort of human uh, medical attention you require we know some doctors who can help with that and actually a bit of a crossover going on because they also seem to be knocking about with a snake today combining the two because i'm getting this sample from someone who's extremely dangerous he doesn't look very dangerous sound i'm not talking about nick i'm talking about the saw scale viper in front of him one of the most deadly snakes in the world. Now, can I just say, I disagree. I think Nick does look dangerous. I think he looks like he'd kick. <laughs> he looks like a kicker, that man. He will kick. <laughs> we don't know anything about him. He, uh, he probably doesn't probably kick. Probably does, he looks but... Looks like a very nice man. He might. But I tell you what, that snake, on the other hand, that snake would kick if it had legs. <laughs> <laughs> if that snake had a leg, by Jiminy, it would reach out to just nut you on. Anyway, make sure you're watching Brand New Operation Out later on this afternoon. It's going to be great. And we want a caller yeah. of the day today. Someone to just have a little chat on the phone with us about anything. Yeah, if you want to talk to us a bit, it could be about school, could be about snakes with legs, could be about salamanders. They're basically snakes with legs. They are. Get in touch. Email cbc at bbc.co.uk. Get permission and make sure you put a phone number on there as well. We want to speak to you. It's very important you include that phone number right now. It's time for Pets Factor. <laughs> Guess what? We've got dragons on the way next, and we definitely knew that just then, me and Katie. Yeah. We definitely knew it. We didn't even have to look at that little no, screen. No, I always forget we can look at that, actually. There, so we'll tell you. Why are we so bad at this? Six <laughs> years I've done this. Six years, baby. Oh, really? uh, that was brand new Operation oh, Ouch, really? and yeah, dragons is on the way for you. Uh, but first, we've got our caller of the day. Hello, Rhiannon. Hi, Rhiannon. Hi. 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 Rhiannon, what have you been up to today? Um, well, I went to school and I lost the glove. No, oh. not on a winter's day like today. Not on a winter's day. Right? That's so annoying because I bet that's one of the first weeks you've had your gloves out and as soon as you've got them out, you've gone and lost one. What does it look like, Rhiannon, in case it turns up? We can have people all over the country looking for it. Um, well, um, it's pink and um, it has like swells on it, it's grit and it has like some grit. Okay, okay right. well, I'll put the feelers out, I'll put the yeah, feelers yeah, out, we'll, we'll get that glove out, don't you worry yeah, about it. Hey, Brianna, what's your favourite CBBC show? Blue Peter. Ooh. And you've got loads of badges, haven't you? Talk us through them, what have we got? Um, I've got the blue one, I've got the silver one, uh, I've got the green one, I've got the Sport 2018 one, and I've got the diamond one. Oh my goodness, Ooh. that's more badges than I even knew that they did. That's amazing. Also, we need to talk about something that we, I never read in my school, so I'm fascinated by this. You, you've got your pen license. What's the pen license? It's basically when you're handwriting, it's just really ace, and um, yeah, and you just write with a pen, like teachers throws you a pen. So you like graduate from pencil to pen. Yeah. I, I don't it. think I would have got one of those because my handwriting was rubbish. One of my teachers once said to me, you'll never pass an exam with that handwriting. And guess what? She I've did. never failed one. So, so there you go. Teachers, teachers will yeah. lie. Yeah, yeah, they teachers will. Teachers will well, lie. Well, yeah, they will lie, but sometimes they're right as well. Have you got any shout outs for your friends, Rhiannon, while you're live on the telly with us? Um, yeah, shout out to um, my friend Holly, yeah. who actually agreed to play with me today. Oh, 